one box, a different box this time. St. John the Baptist has been always an inspiring figure for me. Today's readings revolve around a strong team and a strong person, John the Baptist and his voice from the wilderness prepare. The church too requests us the same theme throughout the liturgy of the Advent. However, seen closely into our schedule, the exterior plannings of purchase and preparations are almost half done. But are we going in a same speed to watch carefully our interior movements? If this doesn't happen, then just like the last year, the Christmas will come and go. Ribbons and sparkling balls will dance on our walls and stairways and return to their boxes. The sweets, cakes and wine will add to a few calories and tighten our schedule for some time in January. Our February will come back to haunt again our old selves. We will be placed on time wheel till it stops again. However, we must not forget that St. John stood by his calling and his virtues. He lived his call and practiced his virtues which caused him offer his head. Can that be called as the greatest gift any human has given to Jesus? He came to declare the arrival of the kingdom of God. He died to the living kingdom of God. So let us not only deck our halls this time, but also revive, rejuvenate and repair ourselves with the beauty of our calling and virtues that will last. Let's unpack a different box this time. Amen. <laughs>